He saw new images of the game. Yes, that's right, you heard it. The YouTuber Quebec Corner received several spoilers and made a video detailing his entire experience at the Riot Games headquarters. He had access to new information about the online social aspects of Hytale and the Law of the Universe and some new mobs that he describes as simply incredible. But before we comment on his entire experience, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell. Quebec Corner described this experience as a dream come true, and I'm sure it's the dream of most who are still following the game's progress. He detailed that he received a surprise call from Noxie, the team's CEO, inviting him to the team's annual meeting. He was asked to make a presentation for the team, and with Buddha's help, he prepared a presentation focusing on why Hytale is so important to the community and the players eagerly awaiting the game. He reports that Noxie surprised him with a small presentation containing some new information and gameplay. Let's agree that we all would like to be in his place. But anyway, continuing, they took him to a large white room with just one monitor. And in that room, they showed a four-minute video of real gameplay. Yes, my friends, he saw it all. According to his account, this was the first external test with the old engine, involving several details and fun moments. The video began with a player customizing their character. He noticed some changes, but the character creator as a whole was the same as in the trailer. The general user interface was also the same, but there was a larger selection of items compared to what we had seen before. This was somewhat expected, considering the game's expansive proposal. The addition of more items only enriches the experience and increases the customization potential, something that players will certainly appreciate. In the video, the players were on a floating island with ruined castles, used as a combat prototype. They started with training exercises, attacking dummies, typical of an MMO. Then, the video showed chaotic PvP fights, with players running, fighting, and communicating through animations and crouches. This visual communication adds a layer of immersion, allowing players to connect more intuitively. The players did 1v1 and 2v2 duels, ending with a team deathmatch game. The game was still in development, with placeholder textures and colorful sticks that looked like lightsabers. All the equipment and combat movements were being closely analyzed in this early testing phase. It's exciting to see how every detail is being carefully adjusted to ensure the best possible experience. The players used various weapons, such as bows, maces, and daggers, as well as potions that provided strength and speed. I also saw a long-range crossbow and Valorant-style tricks, with a player setting a trap and jumping back to shoot. Some skilled players were trying to hit targets in the air during training. This variety of weapons and abilities suggests a deep and engaging combat system that will allow for diverse strategies and playstyles. Some players had different armors, but it wasn't shown how they obtained them. The video also featured duels using magic, with a fireball hitting multiple players. In another scene, a player was healing while another cast green healing particles, saying, I've got you. And the player thanked them after being fully healed. These interactions highlight the importance of teamwork and cooperation, essential for success in complex battles. The players were having fun, laughing while fighting and practicing skills like the dash. They combined combat and magic, and one player used the dash repeatedly to stay in the air, avoiding combat, with another asking, Are you flying? How are you doing that? The combat took place in various locations, mainly around a castle fortress. These scenes show not only the fun, but also the creativity of the players as they explored the game's mechanics. According to him, it was amazing to see the real combat from the player's perspective, watching them fight, exchange items, and jump around. The game seemed complex, with players already strategizing, making calls, and forming classes, some focusing on healing and others on tanking. They couldn't pick up, drop, or trade items, but they could customize their kits in a box in the sky choosing primary weapons, secondary weapons, and a special weapon like a trap. This suggests a level of tactical depth that will appeal to both casual and competitive players. It looked like an esports tournament with highly coordinated players. The animation showed an energy strike that transformed blocks and buildings, reflecting the community's excitement and the game's future competitive potential. Imagining Hytale as an esport is fascinating, especially with the level of detail and strategy involved. Avatars can change the appearance of the capital in real time, 
which is the heart of Avatar society, with floating islands of prismatic energy and iridescent blocks. The ability to directly influence the game's environment in real time is an innovation that could redefine the interaction between players and the virtual world. The universe of Hytale is a creative cosmos where prismatic energy is shaped by the avatars. Gaia, the creator of the adventure mode, is confirmed as an avatar, connecting Orbis's story with the creative tools and the capital. This concept of a constantly evolving universe, influenced by the players themselves, is a revolutionary approach that promises to keep the game dynamic and engaging. This was certainly a very memorable experience for Quebec Corner, and one that many would love to experience as well. It gives us a great insight into what we will see in the game. If you are truly a fan, an experience like the one he had is a treasure. This greatly increases our expectations for the game. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and don't forget to leave your like, comment a lot, subscribe, and activate the notification bell so that YouTube understands that our content is relevant and shows it to more people. We'll be back with more updates about the game at any time. Until next time, adventurers!